Ever wondered how rhodiola rosea can improve your mental clarity and focus? Today, I'll share insights from leading herbal medicine experts and delve into how rhodiola rosea works in your body to unlock its full potential. Ever wondered how rhodiola rosea can improve your mental clarity and focus? Today, I'm here to share insights from leading herbal medicine experts and delve into how rhodiola rosea works in your body to unlock its full potential. Let's dive into what rhodiola rosea actually is. Picture this. A small, hardy plant thriving in the cold, mountainous regions of Europe and Asia. That's rhodiola rosea for you. Known as a natural adaptogen, this herb has been used for centuries by folks in the Arctic and Alpine regions to cope with the stressful, harsh conditions of their environments. Imagine living in a place where temperatures are freezing and resources are scarce. People turn to rhodiola rosea to boost their endurance, mental performance, and resilience. Now, it's not just about surviving in extreme weather. Think about a time when you felt overwhelmed with work, juggling deadlines, meetings, and personal commitments. Your body and mind were probably screaming for a break, right? That's where rhodiola rosea steps in. It's like a support system for your stress response, helping you stay focused and clear-headed even when the going gets tough. So, how does this relate to you? Let's say you're a student or a professional, constantly under the gun to perform. Rhodiola rosea could be that natural ally, helping you maintain mental clarity and peak performance, without the side effects often associated with synthetic stimulants. It's about harnessing the power of nature to keep you on top of your game. Moving on to how rhodiola rosea works in your body, it's like having a secret weapon against stress and fatigue. This herb activates your body's stress response system in a good way. Think of it as flipping a switch that tells your body, hey, it's time to be strong and focused. Now, you might wonder, what's the science behind it? Rhodiola rosea contains active compounds like rosevin and salidroside. These guys are the real MVPs, boosting your brain's performance and helping fight off fatigue. Picture your brain as a busy office. Rhodiola rosea is like the office manager who steps in, organizes everything, and helps everyone work efficiently. But it's not just about feeling less tired. Studies have shown that rhodiola can improve your ability to concentrate and reduce brain fog. Imagine you're studying for a big test or working on a major project. Instead of feeling overwhelmed and scattered, with rhodiola rosea, you're more like, I've got this. I can focus and remember the important stuff. What about the scientific backing? Well, researchers have conducted studies where people who took rhodiola rosea performed better on tasks that required mental agility and endurance. They could focus better and stay alert longer without feeling wiped out afterwards. And it's not only for brain power. Rhodiola rosea has been linked to improving physical stamina too. Athletes and fitness enthusiasts might find it beneficial for those intense workout sessions or competitions. It's like giving your body and mind an extra layer of armor to handle more, whether it's a marathon, a late-night study session, or back-to-back -back meetings at work. In a nutshell, rhodiola rosea is like a multi-tool for your body and mind, helping you stay sharp, energetic, and resilient in the face of stress and challenges. While rhodiola rosea sounds amazing, it's crucial to talk about the potential side effects and risks. Not everything is perfect, right? For some people, taking rhodiola rosea might cause jitters, trouble sleeping, or even a dry mouth. It's like when you drink too much coffee, it can make you feel a bit off. So, if you're sensitive to stimulants, you might want to think twice or talk to a doctor before jumping in. Now, on to safety. Is rhodiola rosea safe for everyone? Mostly, yes, but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Pregnant women, nursing mothers, and folks with certain health conditions should steer clear unless their doctor gives the green light. It's about being smart and cautious. Let's shift gears to how you should take rhodiola rosea. It's not just about popping a pill and expecting miracles. Timing and dosage matter. Taking the right amount at the right time can make a big difference. Some experts suggest starting with a small dose to see how your body reacts and then adjusting from there. And, timing is key, taking it in the morning might prevent it from interfering with your sleep. Interactions are another important point. Rhodiola rosea might not play nice with some medications or supplements. It could enhance the effects of stimulants or interfere with other meds. 
Like when mixing different ingredients in a recipe, you need to know what works together and what doesn't. Lastly, finding reliable information is crucial. Not all sources are trustworthy, so you need to be a detective. Look for research studies, reputable health websites, or advice from qualified healthcare professionals. Your health isn't something to gamble with, based on just any random blog or testimonial. In conclusion, Rhodiola rosea can be a powerful ally for your mental and physical health, offering increased focus, energy, and resilience against stress. But, like any remedy, it comes with considerations for side effects, safety, and proper usage. Being informed and cautious can help you make the most of its potential benefits. Remember, the journey to better health is a marathon, not a sprint. Take it step by step, and always prioritize your well-being.